The Shure PSM900 personal monitor system is intended to be used for on-field talent to reduce the effects of signal delay from the sound system to the performer's location. Commonly used front panel controls are level controls, menu navigation controls, and sync button, and the power switch. The input level controls are on the far left and are used to make minor adjustments to the input signal level. Menu navigation controls consist of enter and exit buttons and the menu control wheel. Press the menu control wheel to enter the menu and rotate the wheel to navigate. Any settings changed must be confirmed using the enter button and pressing the exit button will return you to the previous menu. The sync button allows the transmitter and receiver to automatically select the RF channel to be used. The power switch is located on the far right hand side and turns the unit on and off. You can learn about the other advanced controls by consulting the manual. The PSM900 input gain must be set correctly in order to properly use the system. This setting should be set during manufacturing, but it is a good idea to verify that it is set correctly. In order to do this, press the menu wheel to access the menu, navigate to audio, and press the menu wheel to select. Next, press the menu wheel again to select the input level option and verify it reads plus 4 dBU. If it does not, rotate the menu wheel to select the plus 4 dBU and then press the enter button. After this is done, you can press exit repeatedly until you are out of the menus. First, turn the transmitter power switch on or in the up position and ensure the RF switch is off or in the down position. The tower symbol above the RF switch will illuminate blue when it is on. Now you will want to attach the antenna and earphones to the top of the handheld receiver. Power on the body pack receiver by turning the volume knob clockwise. Flip open the front cover to expose the control knobs along with the battery compartment. Press the scan button and the display will show sync now. Hold the body pack up to the transmitter with the sync IR windows facing each other. These are the red windows, not the LCD display. Press the sync button on the transmitter. The display will show sync success when finished. After the pair have been synced, flip the RF switch on the transmitter to on. The blue LED on the receiver should illuminate to indicate that it is detecting the transmitter. Since the receiver runs off of two AA batteries, you should check the LCD display for battery status before using the device. It is always better to replace or recharge the batteries rather than having them run out while the device is in use. In order to use the system correctly, you must have the gain structure throughout the signal chain set right. In order to do this, start by playing a CD that is connected to the mixer on channel 6. After the channel gain for the CD player is set, you will need to verify that the AUX2 button is set to PRE. To do this, verify the button on the right side of the mixer under the AUX master section is set to the UP position. Next, start turning the AUX2 button on the channel strip clockwise until the meters on the PSM900 transmitter starts to light up. Keep turning up the AUX2 send knob until the meters normal out so the top two yellow lights flicker and the green lights are solid. You may turn the receiver pack and listen using the supplied headphones to verify that signal is being transmitted to the receiver. <laughs>